Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 of the £2 coins that I've ever hunt through. Looking for the commemoratives, the ones with more than face value, but ideally, we want some of the ones that are still missing. Uh, we are missing three of the Commonwealth Games, Northern Ireland, Scotland and England. We've got Wales though, which is a nice one to have ticked off. One we got stuck on previously. Um, we've got our first Olympic now, so we're just missing the Beijing handover and the Rio. Um, handovers, which again be lovely, lovely coins to tick off. Mary Rose, King James Bible, London Underground, World War One, Navy Centenary, the Flag Era. Other than that, it's pretty good going. We're getting fairly close to ticking off um, some of the uh, scarcer ones as well. So let's hope we get some Commonwealth Games. We've only had one so far. Let's cross our fingers. Maybe today is our day to add another Commonwealth Games. But without further ado, let's get into these coins. Right, what are we looking for? Let's go into the first bag and I'll show you. That is technologies. We don't want technologies. These just go straight back to the bank. There are a couple of lower minted years. Well, the one with the Queen's got the necklace, which again, fairly common to see, so not, nothing exciting. We've got Guy Fawkes here. I almost forgot what it was there. That's a very common one there. Nothing interesting to be had out of that one. But it's a cool design and we haven't had it. So it's always nice to have a variety of different coins in our hunts. But yes, what a flurry of excitement we had with coins the past week. Um, the release of the King Alfred the Great five pound coin, which, um, hmm, not my favorite coin released, but then again, I didn't like the 2019 Paddingtons when I saw the pictures, but when I had it in my hand, I very much did like it. So I will reserve my final judgment until I've actually got the coin in my hand. But um, initial impression, I wasn't, I wasn't massively impressed. This will be something though. Ooh, Shakespeare's tragedies. So tragedies has been confirmed to be to to, to blah, blah, blah. it's been confirmed that there are some edge inscription errors on Shakespeare tragedies. It should say what a piece of work is a man, and some of them have said have, have been found saying um, for king and country, which is the edge inscription for the World War One Army centenary. Uh, so no, this is just what a piece of work is a man, not the edge inscription error we're looking for, but still a nice coin. We've had some very good luck with Shakespeare's recently in terms of like the comedies. Finding a few of them. We've got the abolition of the slave trade act. There's some dent in it there. It looks like it's just post mint damage, but I thought maybe someone had marked that. Mm. A little bit different, but again, nothing exceptional. So yeah, Alfred the Great. I was quite excited about that coin coming out because um, obviously it came out in the Royal Proclamation that it was happening. And then all of a sudden got released very quickly. And we, I didn't get any warning of it or hadn't heard any rumours of it coming out. Um, but King Alfred the Great is a, quite a local sort of um, historical figure for myself. He's, his capital was Winchester, just down the road for me, where I went to university. Shakespeare's histories. And it says the Hollow Crown. So yeah, there we go. Another one to add next to the tragedies. See if we can find ourselves a comedies and make the whole setup in one video, which has happened a couple of times in the past month or so, which is pretty cool because, again, it doesn't happen too often. We don't seem to get comedies down south. Right. Yeah, King Alfred the Great, quite a local character in local history. Uh, so it would have been nice to have a really nice coin that I could get on board with, but um, yeah. Not 100% convinced by the design, I must admit. It's it supposedly. Art inspired by art of the times, so I don't know. Like I said, wait till I, wait till, wait till I get the coin in my hand. The last dinosaur is with me. I haven't recorded the video yet, but the video will probably be up by now. Um, so I'm excited to get my hands on that because it's been a very, very cool set this year so far. The Active Union there, as we know, fairly common coin. You'll find that quite often. That's a top row find. That's going to be something. Shakespeare's Tragedies again. Our second chance to get the Edge Inscription Error. Let's have a little peek. No, what a piece of work as a man. Still, a nice one. We don't normally find too many of the Shakespeare's tragedies. Here we have rugby, the World Cup. Very common. Pop that up the top with the rest of the common ones. And carry on our merry hunt. The, yes, the, also the news is at the end of April. I'm recording this towards the end of April, but I think the very end of April. Uh, we're going to get the new £5 coin with... Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit on it. It's kind of cool, a revisit to the, the world of Beatrix Potter and Peter Rabbit, which we haven't had on our 50ps for some time. We've got Charles Dickens there, again, particularly common. And I think we also saw Bruno's achievements, the archers at Paddington Station, again, 
one that we see quite often. We've got accounts tracking some of the interesting, some of the common ones, along with some of the uncommon ones. We've, the um, Brunel counter is a split counter for both of the Brunel coins. They're quite level pegging as well. I'd be interested to see one of them take, take an advantage, take a lead. I think I saw something at the bottom there. We'll go for that one first. Another Shakespeare's Histories. Uh, and it says the Hollow Crown. So there haven't actually been any edge, edge inscription errors found on the other Shakespeare's. I just think it's prudent if one has slipped, one error has slipped through the net on one Shakespeare. Worthwhile checking all of them just in case. Because again, how cool it would be being the first person to find an error. Let's see if we can have this bag. We've got Lord Kitchener. Lord Kitchener, there is the mule kicking about. Not very common though, not many of them have been found at all. But it should say £2 on the bottom of the obverse, which it does, so that is not the mule. So you can go up the top row. Very common. It would be a very cool coin to tick off. But yeah, Beatrix Potter, £5 coin, what do I think? I, I, I quite like the idea. I, I like £5 coins, so I don't mind it. We're going to get ourselves another Shakespeare here. Another Shakespeare tragedies. Three in a hunt. Wow, we. The skulls are out today. Uh, work is a man. That's fine. No edge inscription error to be had on this one. Four times the charm though, right? Surely. Surely. Oh. Bruno's achievements again. Pop that with the other one we had earlier. That's another abolition of the slave trade. Pop that one with the one a little dink in it. Yeah, I'm excited to get back to a Beatrix Potter coin. I, think, I know lots of people aren't massive fans of them, uh, but I think it's pretty cool. As I said, it seems to be the Roman pushing people towards £5 coins, which doesn't particularly phase me because I've been buying £5 coins for a while now. But I appreciate that some people aren't particularly impressed because they prefer their 50p to the £2, whatever it happens to be. Active Union again. Nothing else we had there, though. It'd be interesting to see, though, whether this... Um, Beatrix Potter or Peter Rabbit follows the path of the sort of the popular culture five pound coins whereby we get a bunk five pound cupra nickel coin and then all the different varying levels of precious metal so the half ounce, the one ounce, the two ounce, blah 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 all the way up to the massively expensive crazy gold lump of coin. Another active, not active union, um, abolition of the slave trade there. Again, fairly common. That wasn't too bad condition though, as we said. Yeah, we still haven't had we had a two pound coin release this year yet, like individual on its own. I don't think we have. Obviously, we know some of them that are on their way this year that were out in the annual set, and I'm sure we will get some surprises along the way throughout the year of potentially coins that haven't been announced that will crop up or that have flown under the radar until their release date. VE Day anniversary there, so very common, most common commemorative one. So we're not getting anything else in this bag though. Oh no, we don't. Florence Nightingale, my favourite circulating two pound coin. It's such a pretty design, I really like it. Very cool, but it is common. You'll find your fair share of those, that's for sure. Oop, get off. Static electricity, the bag's sticking to my fingers. It's a shiny one there. I do check the certain coins for edge, uh, for rotation errors, but not every single coin. We got a Britannia there. I didn't see the year. So Britannia replaced Technologies as the definitive design from 2015, which is a very low minted year for the for the Britannia. Uh, 2016 is also a fairly low minted year. Desirable coin, if you ask me. Uh, all the other years have not been circulating. Oh, it's 2015. Very nice. Wasn't too long ago we were still hunting for one of those in the book, and we found a whole slew of them. So we can add that into the hoard. Right then. Should we do an edge hunt? The edge inscription on two pound coins on a technology's two pound coin should say standing on the shoulders of giants it's an isaac newton quote what's this one country for king and country so that should be the world war one army centenary if it's the shakespeare tragedies i'll be very very happy because that is the inscription that's uh, that's in error on some of the tragedies nope the age inscription matches the coin, unfortunately. 
that would have been so cool to have uh, found one of them because I've not found one of them since we've since the area's been spotted. I think we've just got standing on the shoulders of giants for the rest of this bag. We'll just quickly fly through them just to make sure we're not going to miss anything good, which we are not. Whoops. But that'd be interesting to know down in the comments. What coins are you most looking forward to this year? So for me personally, it's the HG Wells coin. Uh, ever since I saw it in the annual set, I thought, wow, this is a lovely coin. So that is my number one coin to look out for this year. I'd be interested to know what you guys in the comments are excited for coming out this year. Or is it the Winnie the Poos? Continuation of that set. First set was quite popular, it must, it must be said. I like the Christopher Robin. That was my favourite one of the year. There's a nice coloration on the design. I think there's something happening here. What's going to be? No way! <laughs> Maybe comedy is getting more common down south. Shakespeare comedies, wow we. We finished the whole set again. And the whole world's a stage. Nothing awry about that. Weirdly enough, we've got more tragedies than we have comedies. But there we go. Doesn't happen too often. Although recently it has been happening more often. It was almost like a whole bunch of the comedies were circulated up north. And they slowly descended south. And I would imagine those of you up north will be hoping and praying that those Navy Centenary Juvan coins start moving their way north as, as well. Because that seems to be one that's missing up north. It's just happens happenstance on how coins get circulated. So whether there must have just been a lot of demand for new two pound coins in the north at the time that the Shakespeare's comedies were the next ones cut out of the uh, cash centres. And we were lucky down south that when more demand is needed for two pound coins, we got loads of Navy Centenaries and Britannias. Yeah, or just potluck. I won't complain because tragedy, uh, comedies is a coin I don't see too much of. Even now that there seems to be an increasing abundance of them. Brunel's portrait there. Again, particularly common. But we'll add that onto the counter with the other Brunel coin. Nothing else to be had out of that bag. Got three bags left. Well, it's been a pretty good, a pretty good hunt so far. We can't be grumbling at our results. There's another Charles Dickens. Uh, here we go. I think that one's look a bit odd. Hmm, maybe it's just a little bit of wear on it, on the coin. Because we are seeing a fair few fakes kicking about. Right, penultimate bag will do as an edge hunt. Ooh, if we can get into it. <laughs> Bags are stretching. Got him. Out. Right then, what have we got? So I see something already. One, two, three, fourth one in. Oh, aiding the mariner. That'll be Trinity House. Yep, it's Trinity House. It's again a coin I really like. Again, particularly common one. One you can find little cut errors in the corner of the, the corners of the lamps, but. Card errors don't interest me, those extra little bits of metal that are just in inconsequential. Uh, second from top, that's something. One Kingdom, oh that'd be Act of Union. Yep. So two in that bag, can we make it a third? What's that one down at the bottom there? What a piece of work is a man. So another Shakespeare's Tragedies. This really is the tragedy's bag, isn't it? We've had so many of them. How many is that? One, two, three, four in one hunt. Superb. I think the rest are just technologies. Let's just double check. Yeah, nothing else to be had out of that bag. Well then, all of a sudden we've made it onto the last bag. For those that have been watching, you might be interested to know that I have a Discord server. You can lick, you can lick the links. <laughs> Don't lick the links. Click the links down in the description below <laughs> to come and join. Um, Discord if you so wish, you've got loads of coin collects on there, it's a great little place to chit chat about coins. Alternatively, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and 
Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and there's the PO box if you wish to write in too as well. We have got Robert Burns there. So, it's a fairly scarce coin, not the most scarce coin, slightly over face value. Not worth writing home about though. But uh, definitely a keeper. Last coin, oh, it is commemorative. It is Guy Fawkes. Again, superb stuff. Let's pop that one down where the other Guy Fawkes is. There we go. Well, a whole host of awesome finds. I'm going to have a look through them just to make sure there's no rotation errors, no edge inscription errors, just to be doubly sure. Well, these inscriptions and the rotations are all fine on those. Nothing uh, to be had in terms of errors, but some nice finds. Star finds. I pick one of these three. But do let me know down in the comments what you'd pick as your favourite star find. It's always interesting to see. And as ever, all that leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.